The government's decision to pay $140 million to liquidators Paul Chadwick is facing criticism. Gabriel Suri, a lawyer for Repel, described the move as unwise and irrational. He explained that the liquidation involves Aubrey's commodities owned by Villeman, not Patrick Wong, and neither company directly owns Liver Solomons Limited or Repel. According to Suri, the government's plan would only replace Villeman's 50% stake in ICSL, leaving Wong's share intact, meaning additional funds would be needed to fully control LSL and Repel. Suri also stated that the Prime Minister's claim about an Australian court ordering the sale of Liver Solomons or Repel is misleading. Prime Minister Manele announced on Monday that the government is considering buying back Repel and LSL from foreign owners. Liver Specific Plantations Limited, later known as Russell Islands Plantations Limited, Ripple, was established in 1902 as a British company with a primary focus on coconut plantations. Over the years, Ripple expanded its operations to include a variety of crops such as cocoa, rubber and palm oil, becoming a key player in the region's agricultural sector. Throughout its history, Ripple's operations were marked by significant economic contributions shaping local economy and infrastructure development. However, its labor practices, which heavily relied on indigenous Solomon Islanders and laborers from neighboring islands, faced scrutiny and criticism for working conditions and wages. After the country gained independence in 1978, Ripple encountered various challenges including changes in land tenure laws, labor relations, and economic policies. These challenges contributed to the company's decline and eventual liquidation. In recent years, Ripple has been involved in legal disputes and controversies, including the government's decision to pay $140 million to liquidators Holt Chadwick. The company's future remains uncertain as discussions continue regarding its ownership and management. Gina Kekea, Tavoli News.